friends, uh, this is Dr. Srikant from Team MDS Conquer. Uh, now I'm here to discuss a few important things related to the uh, mock test series that MDS Conquer has announced from November 14th, 2023. Okay, so this is uh, focusing mainly on NEET MDS 2024 and the tentative date as of now uh, given for this exam is February 9th, 2024. Okay. So February 9, 2024 was the tentative date announced by uh, NBE three days back. Okay, so now let's keep this date uh, as a date of exam, as a D-Day, and let's start focusing full time on preparation. Okay, so there may be uh, a little bit of chances for the exam can be postponed like a week or 10 days maximum, 10 or uh, a week or two weeks maximum. Okay, considering our requests and XYZ factors, but as of now, I want you to keep uh, February 9, 2024 as a target and start working towards it. So if you just count the number of days that are left over for the exam, it is less than three months. Okay, it's less than 90, uh, 90 days. Okay, so roughly it is like, uh, uh, like if you consider on the, on the starting of the test series, that is November 14th, you have somewhere around like 87 or 88 days for your February 9, 2024. So whatever the extra days that are going to add if the exam is postponed or something, you can consider them as a relaxation revision days, okay? But please do keep Feb 9th as a target date of your examination, okay? So what I made is like in this 80, uh, 87 days, 87 days plan, okay? I simply split it uh, your preparation days are 57 to 58 days uh, for your modules. I'll explain what are the modules, okay? And the leftover 30 days for your last revision with mock exams. So mock exams are basically going to help you in time management time management or negative marking because negative marking plays a very very vital role in the ex in these exams right so it's going to help in managing the time and it's going to help in uh, minimizing your score like maximizing your score by minimizing your negative marking okay so first of all i hope like most of you have this basic idea about uh, your neat mds neat examination so this video is basically for the students who are about to start their preparation, but most of them who's already on par, okay, they know the basic idea. So NEET MDS examination is going to be for 240 questions, okay? And each question, each right answer, okay? Each right answer is going to carry plus four score and wrong answer that is being attempted is going to carry minus one. And unattempted, unattempted is going to carry zero, zero score. So this is this is the scoring of NEET examination, okay? So right, so a NEET examination, NEET MDS is going to be the exam for the counseling of all dental colleges in the country, except AIMS. PGI and Jupiter. Okay, so except these three colleges, all the colleges means all the government dental colleges, both central government as well as state government, and all the private colleges, that is the local colleges as well as the deemed colleges, except AIMS, PGI, and Jupiter, all the colleges admissions will be filled through NEET examination. The second one is, it is an eligibility criteria for your Army Dental Corps. Okay. So for Army Dental Corps also, the eligibility criteria they are going to take is NEET examination. So this is the main thing why most of us will give NEET examination. Okay. So the next important aspect is, as already told, it is going to be uh, 240 MCQs. Uh, this is an official blueprint that is being released by uh, NBE people on their website. Okay. As of now, it is not updated. So this is the last year blueprint. So in which your, uh, the question paper is being split into uh, part A and part B, okay? Part A is basically 
the basic subjects and part b is going to be more of an inclined to clinical or dental subjects okay so if you check out the uh, in depth in depth uh, the subjects what they have mentioned clearly according to the dca regulations of bds syllabus okay so the first subject is going to be in the part a is going to be the general anatomy including embryology general embryology and general histology which is going to carry 14 marks physiology plus biochemistry 7 7 it's going to carry 14 marks dental anatomy and dental histology that includes dental embryology also it's going to carry 7 plus 7 14 general path and micro 7 plus 7 14 general pharmacology and dental pharmacology 7 plus 7 14 general medicine is 15 and general surgery are 15 so these are the highest scoring subjects general medicine and general surgery so then going to part b part b is for 140 marks which is more inclined to the dental subjects that is your dental materials 14 oral pathology and oral microbiology 14 oral medicine oral radiology 14 pedo and preventive 14 ortho 14 perio 14 prosto crown and bridge 14 conservative and endo 14 oral surgery 14 and public health community 14 so totally it's going to be split into part a and part b part a is for 100 mcqs part b is for 140 mcqs total you are going to have 240 mcqs each mcq is going to carry plus four marks and one wrong mcq is going to decrease your score by minus one okay so this is a rough, rough blueprint and you have to attempt these 240 questions split it into part a and part b in three hours time that is nothing but 180 minutes so time management is a very very important task that you have to make it up so what i have done okay so as i already i have given uh, your 87 or 88 days i'm being splitting into 57 58 days plus 30 days of mock examinations and revision plan final revision plan okay so in which the module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 so i have splitted your schedule into four models basically okay so that is your one two three four so in this four models how i have splitted this uh, your 58 days is so what i have done is i have given uh, module one i have given 15 days module two i have given 15 days module three i have given 12 days and module four i have given 16 days okay so totally it is going to turn to 58 days plus 30 days or 29 days of your mock exam revision plan okay right so in which module one okay for 15 days we are covering 63 marks and this is going to start from november 14th to november 28th and last day you are going to take an exam on module one for 240 marks same as your need final exam okay so in which endo i have included seven marks pedo 14 perio 14 dental anatomy 7 and dental histology with embryology 7 cons cons integrated with dm means whatever conservative dentistry part which is there in dental materials we are going to do along with it because most of the dm will be integrated to conservative prosto ortho okay leftover are three topics of dm which i'll be discussing personally on the group so we can do it dm integratedly we can do it and the main motto of keeping dental histology here is a part of dental histology will be covered with endo okay and a part of dental histology will be covered with uh, perio that is periodontium will be covered here pulp will be covered here pulp and periapical will be covered here okay and uh, enamel dentin will be covered here so most of the dm will be integrated to conservative endo and perio the leftover dm will be doing it okay no need to worry so this is how the first 15 days plan will be going and it's going to carry 63 marks out of your 240 neat examination and it's going to run for 15 days jumping into module 2 the module 2 is going to include general pathology for 7 marks community plus preventive again i told you right pedo is already done in the module 1 so community is going to contain a part of pedo community is going to contain a part of conservative also your pit and fissure sealants okay your prevent to resin restorative material some areas of art some areas of mid fluorides and all these are part of pedo as well as operative so we are going to repeat them again okay so that that's going to save your time so general anatomy 14 that includes general embryo and general histology and prosto integrated to dm the part of prosto that is being integrated to dm will be covered here 
then comes the biochemistry for seven marks so we are going to cover okay 15 days module which is going to start from november 29th to december 13th and it's going to cover 63 marks again okay so now on the last day on december 13th you are going to take two exams okay one exam is on module 2 and the second exam is going to be module 1 plus module 2 that you can consider as mock 1 or grand exam 1 okay right i hope this is very very clear okay then jumping into module 3 the module 3 runs for only 12 days okay so this is more of an a, a clinical oriented content so in this module 3 what we are going to cover is it is going to be 12 days it's going to cover 50 marks and it's going to start from december 13th to december 25th and it's going to cover ortho 14 marks oral surgery 14 marks general surgery oral surgery general surgery is more of an integrated so you can do together and oral radiology for seven marks so this is going to carry a, a, a 50 marks okay then jumping into module 4 before module 4 so now you are going to have december 25th you're going to have two exams one exam on module 3 the second exam is on module 1 plus module 2 plus module 3 I hope it's very very clear so jumping into module 4 which is going to start from December 26th to January 10th okay this is going to be 64 marks and it's going to cover 16 days schedule in which it's going to cover microbiology general and oral 7 plus 7 physiology 7 pharmacology general and oral 7 plus 7 general medicine of 15 oral medicine of 7 oral pathology of 7 okay right so the main motto is most of these subjects which are included in the module 4 are very very important for exam one second thing almost all these subjects are integrated to each other okay most of the content is very common for these subjects which are listed in the module 4 so module 4 you will be having an exam on 10th january two exams one exam on module 4 exclusively and the second exam is on module 1 plus module 2 plus module 3 plus module 4 okay right so i hope you got a clear cut idea so that uh, how we have planned the modules so once we are done with that uh, then from uh, january uh, 10th after january 10th uh, we will be having uh, one or two examinations exclusively on the uh, repeated concepts or repeated questions uh, in the last 10 years i'll be giving those lists and everything so we'll be having like uh, uh, roughly 20 mock examinations okay 20 mock examinations out of which three uh, three three or four will be done here so module it's going to be four followed by 20 mock examinations three of these mock exams one mock exam you're going to do along with module two the second mock exam you're going to do with module three the third mock exam you're going to do with module four okay right so followed by you will be having two uh, repeated concepts and repeated mcqs exams okay so totally five more five mock exams will be done here followed by you'll be having the leftover 15 mock exams okay in the last one month okay so the main mode of conducting mock examinations is one is time management okay time management you can attend by giving 10 mock exams that's that's more than sufficient but the main mode of conducting uh, 20 plus uh, these four okay 24 uh, four modules plus 20 mock exams is uh, we are trying to cover the entire syllabus all the important areas in a particular topic all important topics in a particular subject will be covered in this 24 uh, mock plus module exams that's the primary motto of this uh, of this mock test series okay right so I, I, I hope you got a clear-cut idea so just going to recap the things again so so this is how I have planned so 58 days for modules and followed by 30 days for last revision and mock examinations okay so a part a and part b so part a is more of a basic subjects and part b is more of a clinical subjects which i have split it clearly right answer is going to carry plus four and wrong answer is going to carry minus one so first one uh, the module one okay so module one you're going to have an exam on 28th so next goes to module 2 module 2 you're going to have an exam on december 13th one exam on module 2 exclusive one exam on module 1 plus module 2 next one is 28th uh, 25th december module 3 exam plus module 1 2 3 exam 
10th January module 1 exam and module 1 2 3 4 exam followed by you're going to have two exams exclusively on the repeated topics and repeated concepts I'm going to give you the list and I'll try to discuss as many things as possible uh, within the time limitation okay so this is how we have planned okay uh, so this video is just exclusively explaining the uh, timetable and uh, the patterns okay right